What's up my achievement skaters, Mayhem Blizz, we're playing Rollodrome for the 4-1000G. It's on Xbox Game Pass, so if you've got that chappy, pick this up. I don't know about you guys, but I find it really difficult to find games I enjoy nowadays, but when I find one, I do want to tell you guys about it. And this game is awesome. If you like the sound of Tony Hawk's combined with shooting, this game is for you. This one is a longer completion than the others, but it's worth it. It has no collectibles, no mashing buttons through dialogue, just pick up and play. You can get the full 1000G in around 6 hours using cheats, which don't disable achievements. So to enable assists and cheats, we're going to start by heading into the settings, then assists, and then we can turn invincibility to yes, infinite ammo to yes, and infinite reflex time to yes. We'll be completing all of the challenges anyway, so we don't need to unlock all of the levels. And the easy slug shots are easy enough to get, and this one does disable an achievement, so that's why we don't turn that one on. So once done, head out of that and select campaign, and then you'll start by having a tutorial to complete, and once you complete it, you'll get the warming up achievement for 15 gamer score. So just like Tony Hawk's, each level has a set of 10 challenges, and I have provided a solution for every single challenge. You can find timestamps to take you to particular achievements, levels, or challenges. As people will be skipping through the video, I will provide some key tips and tricks now to help with your completion. There are some weapon-based challenges and achievements, but apart from those, I would recommend using the pistols and the grenade launcher for the most part. The pistols are good for taking out pretty much all of the enemies, apart from the riot guards and the mecha brute. Instead of holding right trigger to shoot your pistols, tap it and you'll shoot your pistols a lot quicker and you'll be able to kill these enemies before they can teleport away or put their shield up. And then for the riot guards and the mecha brutes, I'd recommend using the grenade launcher. There are challenges related to particular enemies as well, so just in case you are unsure who is who, I'll show you. Grunts are enemies with these baseball bats. Snipers are enemies wearing these hats and present the grey and red laser sights. Warheads are these big dudes that fire rockets. Riot Guards are enemies with riot shields. Poly Beams are these smaller enemies with blue laser sights. And a Mecha Brute is the large mech. And the Stomper is the smaller mech that can fly. Now if you're struggling to get the high score for a particular level or the achievement won for the record books for scoring 3 million in a single combo, then there is currently a cheese method we can use. We can use the grenade launcher to keep ourselves in the air while racking up a load of points. So to do this, you'll first want to earn a decent multiplier. I went for 25. Then we're going to equip the grenade launcher. We're going to perform a unique trick while spinning. And then before you land, keep shooting the grenade launcher with the right trigger, as well as holding the left stick to the left or right to continue spinning. You want to do this in a closed area so you end up against a wall. And you may have some trial and error getting it, but you should get the hang of it. You want to make sure you don't go over the elapsed time in the top right hand corner, so make sure that text doesn't go red, otherwise you'll be deducted points. Now if you're going for the achievement, 120,000 points is what we need, as that times 25 equals 3 million. If you're going for the high score, you'll need a lot less than that. Now if you want to do the high scores legit, I have some tips for that also. We want to aim to complete the round in a single combo, and you can increase your combo by killing or damaging players, as well as collecting combo tokens. Performing tricks will only increase your score, not your multiplier. So we only want to increase the combo when the multiplier is running out. This will extend your combo for as long as possible, allowing you to perform tricks in between each multiplier. You'll also want to aim to perform every grab trick when going for the high score. You'll be netted more points for performing unique tricks rather than performing the same trick over and over again. And there are only 13 grab tricks, so it should be quite easy to remember. How I remembered them was X on its own, one of every direction, so left and X, right and X, up and X, etc. Double of every direction, so left, left and X, right, right and X, etc. And then what I call the opposite of every direction. So left, right and X, right, left and X, up, down and X, etc. And as you can see, there is an achievement related to it. You'll get 75 gamer score for performing every grab trick in a single match. 
If you want to take a look at all of the tricks, you can pause and go to the Trictionary. And while we are on the subject of tricks, if you perform all of the grinds in a single match, you will also get the Strike Pose achievement for 50 gamer score. You also want to always flip and spin when performing these tricks. You'll rack up a lot more points flipping and spinning when performing the grab trick. We also want to not dodge anything. Dodging cancels your tricks and doesn't increase your score or your multiplier. And because we have invincibility turned on, we won't take any damage or lose our combo when we are hit. We also don't want to take our eyes off the multiplier. You want to constantly look at the multiplier so you know when to kill the next player or collect your next combo token. With that in mind, always have the next enemy or combo token close by. Another tip is to not go beyond the elapsed time. I said it before, the elapsed time is located in the top right hand corner of your screen. If the elapsed time turns red, that means you have exceeded the given time and you'll be deducted points the longer you are over. So quickly finish off any remaining enemies as quick as you can to finish off the level. And guys, with those tips and tricks, I'm certain you won't need that cheese method to complete any of the high scores and get that 3 million combo. Now there are three other miscellaneous achievements, one for each new weapon, and we're going to start with the shotgun. We need to finish a level using only slug shots. A slug shot is when you perform a perfect shot with the shotgun. And I'd recommend doing this on the very first level as it has the least amount of enemies. Again, make sure you have the easy slug shots turned off in your assist settings as that disables this achievement. Then just perform your slug shots on all of the enemies by firing as soon as the two lines meet in the middle. Once done, you'll get the slugger achievement for 30 gamer score. Next up, the grenade launcher. We need to eliminate three players with a single shot. Easily done again on the first level. As soon as you start, round up the three grunts in the center, go into reflex time to make sure they are all close to you, and then fire at your feet with a grenade launcher, and that will be the three to crowd achievement for 20 gamer score. The last weapon then, the crossbow. This achievement is also a challenge on one of the levels, but to save people looking for it, I thought I would cover it now. The challenge is on the level, the Matterhorn Stadium. You'll want to shoot the polybeam enemies once until they teleport onto the same platform as another enemy. We're going to make sure that other enemy is weak, so it's killed with a single shot. And then we're going to line them up both with reflex time. We're going to shoot and kill them. And once done, you'll get the two birds achievement for 30 game score. On from here then are my solutions for each challenge. So now we're going to start it off in the Matterhorn Arena. Located in the bowl outside of the main area, you can find the trick token in the center in the air. We're going to use the gray rolling ramp to jump and collect it while performing a grab trick with the X button. So to perform a three times combo and eliminate three grunts in reflex time is simple enough. We're going to perform a trick off of the starting ramp and we're going to hold the left trigger to go into reflex time to kill the first grunt in front of you and then you're gonna do the same for the next two grunts. To perform a grind trick, just head to the top of the ramp and we're gonna press the Y button and any direction on the left stick to perform a grind. Once you've taken out the three grunts, some snipers will spawn in. So the laser sight will start off as a gray line and as soon as it turns red, you press the B button to dodge it. Do that three times and that'll be the challenge complete. And then once you've dodged three laser sights, you can jump off a ramp close to a sniper, go into reflex time with the left trigger and mash the right trigger to kill them quickly before you hit the ground for the airborne kill. Now to dodge a grunt bat attack, we're going to hold the left trigger to go into reflex time. We're going to head towards a grunt and then during their swing, we're going to press the B button to dodge. Now for the combo tokens. Straight on from the starting ramp, you can find the first token off the center volcano ramp. Then a slight left from that one, you can find the combo token number two above the outside ramp. The third will be located to the right on the same ramp. And then the fourth token is located in the outside bowl where you found the trick token. And then the last token is located directly opposite this bowl with a rail leading into it through some glass. And we're going to jump off the quarter pipe to collect it. 
Then lastly, for the high score, you need to net 390,000. Apply the tips and tricks I mentioned earlier to achieve this. And then once you've completed your first match, you'll get the debut achievement for 20 gamer score. You'll get the untouchable achievement for completing a match without taking any damage for 30 gamer score. And you'll get that because we have the invincibility turned on. And you'll also get the kill streak achievement for completing a match in a single combo for 30 gamer score. Next up is the Pikes Canyon. For this trick token, we need to perform a specific grab, which is the nose grab, and we can do that with up and X. And the trick token is located to the right, off from the starting ramp, and you can use this rolling ramp to jump and perform your nose grab. So to perform a five times combo, you shouldn't be struggling with this one by now, but if you are, you're gonna use the reflex time when taking out enemies, then just make sure you have the next enemy in sight. Now to dodge sniper shots at the last moment, you'll want to go into reflex time when a sniper red laser sight is targeting you, then as soon as it turns white, you're gonna press the B button to dodge, and you do that twice for this challenge. We need to perform a hunter grind, which is easy enough. Just approach the lip of a ramp and you're gonna press down and Y to perform it. Once a warhead enemy has spawned in, we're gonna hold off taking him out until you have shot five of his rockets for that challenge. Once done, like I mentioned before, we're gonna mash the right trigger instead of holding the right trigger to shoot our pistols a lot quicker then we can take this guy out before he puts his shield up. And there is a challenge for collecting 50 health pickups. Once you kill an enemy, just skate over them and you'll collect their health. It doesn't matter that we have invincibility activated, you'll still get that. Now for the combo tokens. Dead center of the starting ramp is the first token, so be sure to get some height to collect that one. And then wrap around to the right and use the quarter pipe next to you to find the second token. Then located on the left long quarter pipe is the third token, aim to jump close to the yellow banner to pick that one up. On the same quarter pipe we can find token number four, this one is between the last two yellow banners. Then lastly, straight on from the last token, use the center rolling ramp to pick that one up. Then all we need to do is net the high score. You need to net 420,000 for this level, apply the tips and tricks I mentioned earlier to achieve this. After the second level, you will have another training exercise to complete. This one focuses on how to wall ride and how to use your new weapon, the shotgun. Next up, Javetta Summit. For this trick token, we need to perform a melancholy grab while flipping. We can do this with the right and X while also holding the right bumper. You'll find this trick token located between the gap, so we need to make our way over to the other side using the kicker or wall ride the ski lift. Then use the kicker off the other side to get the height to reach the token and perform the melancholy flip. To wall ride the ski lift, you can use the kicker, then press Y to wall ride the ski lift, or you can grind the ramp leading towards it, then jump and wall ride it. We need to eliminate a player while performing a nose grind. Approach the lip of a ramp close to an enemy and then press up and wind to perform a nose grind. Then take out the enemy with your pistols. 
We can take out three warheads with our pistols with ease. Again, we're going to tap the right trigger to shoot them instead of holding, and that will make a light work of them. The column with the sniper is located on the other side, so make sure you have your shotgun equipped ready. We're then going to use the quarter pipe to get higher than the sniper. Use reflex time when you're at the top of your jump, and then we're going to take him out with a slug shot by timing your shot when the two lines meet in the middle. We need to perform those slug shots with the shotgun to take out four more enemies for another challenge. And now for the combo tokens. Off the starting ramp, we're going to turn left and you can find one located above this quarter pipe near the red banner. The second token you would have already collected before. This one's located while you're wall riding the ski lift, so make sure you collect that one again. The third is located straight in front of you after the ski lift. Use the quarter pipe to get it. Again, it's close to the red banner. On the opposite quarter pipe, you'll find the fourth combo token next to the red banner. And then the last one is located inside the tower, center of the quarter pipe. And then lastly, for the high score, we need to net 390,000 in this level. Again, you can go back to the start of the video to look at the tips and tricks to help you achieve this. After the third level, you will have your last training exercise. This one shows you how to acid drop into a ramp and how to air out of a ramp, which you will need for some challenges coming up. Completing this training exercise will get you the ready for anything achievement for 25 gamer score. Next up, Houston Mall. For this trick token, we need to perform a safety grab while spinning. We can do this with the left and X while also holding the right bumper. To get this token, hug the right wall as you exit the entrance towards the half pipe and you'll need to hold the left bumper before you hit the ramp to exit out and we're going to do the same to exit out the half pipe to the left. The token is directly in front of you, jump off the kicker and perform the safety grab while spinning. To perform the acid drop, we want to jump off the starting kicker, then hold the left bumper while in the air to drop into the ramp below. To eliminate a house player while wall riding, choose a wall close to a player, wall ride by jumping and holding Y and use the pistols to take out the enemy. To stagger a riot guard, simply use the shotgun and hit him with the slug shots. We have a challenge to shoot five mines. Riot guards will release these mines, so holding off killing all of them until you get that challenge is the way to go. We need to finish the level in 2 minutes 35 seconds, which is very easy using the pistols and shooting the barrels placed next to the enemies. Just focus on this challenge alone, not performing tricks, just taking out the enemies and I was able to complete this level in 1 minute and 26 seconds, which leaves plenty of time to spare. Now for the combo tokens. We are going to start by hugging the right wall again from the starting ramp airing out of the ramp with the left bumper and doing the same out of the half pipe to the right this time. Then do a U-turn and wall ride over the half pipe to collect the first token. Wall ride over the next gap and you'll find the second token outside these shops near the second pane of glass. Continue along the path and you'll find the third at the end. Perform a wall ride or jump to collect it. Dropping back into the main area you can find the fourth located above the right quarter pipe. Then over the pyramid ramp, you can find the last token above another quarter pipe near the large panes of glass. 
And then lastly, for the high score, you need to net 580,000. Onto the level Echo Basin. For this trick token, we need to perform a seat belt grab, which we can do with hitting right, right, and X. And this token is located in the center of the level in the air. To get this token, we need to air out of the ramp to the right with the left bumper, and we can use the kicker off of this ledge towards the center and perform the seat belt grab. You can see I was actually quite far from the token, however, I still completed the challenge, so the game is quite giving. We need to perfect dodge two mines and the riot guard to release these mines, so hold off taking them out until you obtain this challenge. Once they're released, go inside the red circle and into reflex time, and as soon as it turns white, press the B button to perform perfect dodge. To stagger a riot guard with a grenade launcher, simply shoot them with the grenade launcher, nothing else, and do this three times to complete the challenge. For this one, we've done this plenty of times, and we need to empty a whole clip into a polybeam before she teleports. Make sure you're tapping that right trigger to shoot, not holding that right trigger, and you'll have that one no problem. When two enemies are close together, make sure to equip your grenade launcher and shoot at the ground in between both of the enemies. To perform a prowler grind, you need to press right, right, and Y at the lip of a ramp. Now onto the combo tokens. We're going to start by collecting the token in the center above the flat dome ramp and then same as before for the trick token we are going to air out of the ramp to the right and collect the token above the quarter pipe. You can wall ride like I did or just jump off the quarter pipe. Then over to the left hand side this time we can jump off this large rolling ramp to grab token 3. And then from here you should be able to see the token number 4 directly above the quarter pipe in front of us. And the last token is on the same quarter pipe leading into the grey area. Jump off the quarter pipe to get it or grind it, it's up to you. And then the high score for this level, you need to net 480,000. Next up, Barbican Arena. For this trick token, we need to perform a stale grab 720. We can do this by hitting right, right, and X, while also holding the right bumper and making sure you spin. This token is located at the top right quarter pipe at the end of the extension. We need to activate Super Reflex. We can do this by activating Reflex Time straight after a perfect dodge. I personally dodged a Grunt's Bat Swing. As soon as it comes up with a perfect dodge, hit the left trigger to go into Super Reflex. For this challenge, we need to damage a Polybeam with two weapons before she teleports. To do this, fire a grenade from your grenade launcher in Reflex time, and as soon as it's about to hit, shoot her with your pistols. We need to eliminate a player while performing an Axle Grind. Approach the lip of a ramp that an enemy is close to and then you're going to press left, left, and Y to perform the axle grind, and then take out the enemy with your pistols. To destroy both flamethrowers on a mech brute with the same grenade, you're going to go into reflex time and make sure you're shooting the brute dead center. Now onto the combo tokens. We're going to start by collecting the token in the center above the large flat pyramid, and then straight ahead from the last token above the quarter pipe is token number two, 
And then to the left, just off center of the quarter pipe extension, close to the banners, is token number three. And then to the left of that token, below the starting ramp, you can find token number four. And the last token is to the left again, out of the main area, you can use the pyramid to collect it. And then the high score for this level, you need to net 840,000. Next up, Iger Resort. For this trick token, we need to perform a Coffin 720 flip, and we can do this by hitting right to left in X, while also holding the right bumper. Obviously, make sure to hold the left stick as well to spin. This token is located on the other island, so make your way over there, and you can find the token located above these panes of glass. We're gonna aim to go through the panes of glass to prolong your airtime. Dodge the riot guard's mines or shield bash as soon as they turn white to perform a perfect dodge and then we're going to press the left trigger to go into super reflex and then we're going to take him out with our pistols. At the start of the level you should have a grunt on the other island, we're going to simply wall ride over the gap, go into reflex while wall riding and take him out with your pistols. To air out onto the watchtower, we just need to make sure that we're holding the left bumper before going up the ramp. To clear the first zone without pistols, I would recommend using the grenade launcher, and you'll also want to make sure not to go out of bounds to complete that challenge as well. Now the combo tokens. I'm gonna to start by collecting the combo token at the top of the watchtower as it takes a while to traverse up and you'll lose your multiplier. So head over to the other island. We're gonna press left bumper before going up the ramp and then make your way up. Once collected, we may as well jump across to the other island opposite and collect the combo token over this joining pyramid next to the warhead. Back over to the starting island, we can grab the token number three off this quarter pipe in front of us. And then we're going to collect the combo token between the gap of the wall ride. So press the left bumper to air out of this quarter pipe, jump and then press Y to wall ride. And then lastly, make your way back over to the warhead, take out some enemies to keep your multiplier. And then once here, we're gonna do a UE, and then we're gonna jump through the glass in the center and pick up the last token. And then for this high score for this level, we need to net 430,000. This level contains a boss where we have to make our way to the next zone and take him out. When his health bar is yellow, you'll need to take out some normal enemies. When it's red, you can skate up one of his spider legs, shoot the orange circle or the back vents to take him out. Once done, you'll get the never out gun achievement for 50 gamer score. And now we're on to the Green Bay Mall. For this trick token, we need to perform the Frey 720 flip, and we can do this by hitting down, down, and X, while also holding the right bumper, and obviously make sure to hold the left stick to spin. 
This token is located on the top level, so head straight up the escalators. And then we're going to use the quarter pipe in front of you to transfer to the one above. Then you're going to approach this quarter pipe at the very edge and make sure you land on the ramp below to prolong your airtime. To eliminate a ground player from the top level, we're going to follow the same path as before, but this time we're going to grind on the rail and use your crossbow to take out a ground player. We also need to take out five players with full power crossbow shots, so hold the right trigger until the rectangle white bar has fully loaded and the bar flashes to ensure it's full power. To perfect dodge a stomper's stomp attack, you'll want to skate along the ground level and look out for the moving circle target that predicts your route. When it stops, head inside the circle and as soon as it turns white, you're going to press the B button to dodge. To perform a 50-50 grind, we are going to approach the lip of a ramp and we're going to press left, right and Y to perform it. And we need to finish the level in 2 minutes and 50 seconds, which we will do using the pistols and the grenade launcher as well as the crossbow to take out enemies at a further distance. So we're just going to focus on this challenge alone, not performing tricks, just taking out the enemies. And I was able to complete this level in 1 minute 34 seconds, which leaves plenty of time to spare. And now for the combo tokens. Starting with the left quarter pipe, you can find your first token. And then onto the quarter pipe opposite this one, center of the extension, you can find your second token. On the quarter pipe to the right of the escalator is token number three. And then up the escalator, you can collect token number four by transferring from the lower quarter pipe to the higher one. And then the last token is located above. We're going to use the grind rail to make it over to this gap. And then we're going to shoot the wall to lower it and then jump and wall ride the shops to pick up the last token. And the high score for this level is 740,000. Now we're on to a Zug Spit Station. For this trick token, we need to perform a backbreaker flip. We can do this with hitting down, up, and X, while also holding the right bumper. We're gonna start by heading over to the right-hand side, and then turn left, off of this center kicker, over the gap, and perform the backbreaker flip. We need to eliminate a player while performing a floor sweeper grind. We're going to approach the lip of a ramp that is close to an enemy and then we're going to press up, down and Y to perform the floor sweeper and take out the enemy with your pistols. To stagger a stomper causing them to stomp, shoot them with your pistols while they are in the air. When the riot guard's shield bash turns white we're going to press the B button to dodge and then immediately press the left trigger to activate super reflex and then we can take him out with a slug shot from the shotgun. We're going to perform super reflex a few more times by activating reflex time immediately after a perfect dodge and we're going to take out three enemies. And now for the combo tokens. Straight in front of us on the right quarter pipe is our first token. Next do a U-turn and up the platform you can see the second token directly in front of you above the quarter pipe. On the same quarter pipe to the right we're going to grind the lip and we're going to jump the gap to collect the third token. The fourth token is located above this spine and then the last token is on the quarter pipe in front of you. And the high score for this level is 740,000.
Onto the level Zabriskie Research. For this trick token, we need to perform a Heartbreaker 360 flip, which we can do by hitting up, down, and X, while also holding the right bumper. This one is located at the shutter doors, over a gap, using the kickers. We need to eliminate a riot guard while performing a lay low grind. So we're gonna approach the lip of a ramp close to a riot guard. Press right, left, and Y to perform the lay low grind. Go into reflex time and then take out the enemy with your shotgun. The warhead we need to eliminate before touching the floor is located directly below the starting ramp. So get your grenade launcher out and then go into the reflex time and we're gonna spam him with a couple of grenade shots. Switch to your pistols, and then we're going to do some damage to him just before the grenade hits. To take out a polybeam with a single shot in super reflex, your best bet is to stay close to a polybeam. And then we're going to perfect dodge a sniper shot or beam, and then full power crossbow this Donnie in the head. Simple enough, we need to finish using only the shotgun. Just make sure you're performing your slug shots for extra damage. Now for the combo tokens. There is a token located on the circle rolling ramp that you can sometimes get off the starting ramp, but we can collect that later. Collect this token placed between these quarter pipes by transferring to collect it. And then from here, we're going to use this kicker ramp to jump and perform a wall ride up the speed boost that will wrap us around to the second token. From here, we can now collect the token above the circle rolling ramp if you weren't able to grab it earlier. And then to the right over the rolling ramp, above this quarter pipe, token number four. And the last token is located above the shutter door. We're going to use this kicker and wall ride to grab that one. And the high score for this level is 910,000. Last but not least, the Matterhorn Stadium. For this trick token, we need to perform a trick worth 2,500 points or higher, and we're gonna perform any double direction grab while holding the right bumper to flip and spin. This one is located to the right of the starting ramp, where you'll need to use the speed boost to obtain it. This one will take you a couple of attempts. You'll want to hold the left bumper to air out of the ramp, and you're gonna time your jump and wall ride so you use the top speed boost to gain the most height. You're gonna perform your trick while flipping and spinning, and that'll be that one. So I showed this solution for this challenge at the start of the video, but if you missed it, here is how to do it. So we're gonna shoot polybeams with a single shot of your pistols to weaken them, as well as relocating them, hopefully next to another enemy. We're gonna weaken those other enemies before going for the shot. And then once we're ready to take the shot, we're gonna line them up in reflex time and perform a full power crossbow shot. We need to take out a Mecha Brute in Super Reflex, so perform Perfect Dodge, and then we're gonna press the left trigger immediately afterwards to activate Super Reflex. And then once you're in Super Reflex, we're gonna shoot the Mecha Brute with the pistols, and that'll be that challenge. Now you can weaken the Mecha Brute before, just as long as the finishing blow is in Super Reflex. We need to eliminate a Mecha Brute while performing a X Grind. Approach the lip of a ramp that a Mech Brute is close to, and then we're gonna press Down, Down, and Y to perform the trick and then take out the Mecha Brute with your grenade launcher. Again, you can weaken the Mecha Brute before. We need to finish the level in four minutes and 20 seconds with just the grenade launcher. So just focus on these challenges in one run, not performing any tricks, just taking out the enemies as quickly as possible. And I was able to complete this level in two minutes and 17 seconds, which leaves you plenty of time to spare.
Now for the combo tokens. We're going to start by collecting the token on this tiny quarter pipe. Once collected, we're going to head back under the starting ramp to wall ride the speed boost located on the right. This will take us up to these platforms. Between these platforms is a combo token. So we can grind the platform rail and wall ride to collect it. On from that token, we can collect another above the quarter pipe back left and then head to the left and we can find our fourth token above this quarter pipe near a platform and a couple of banners. And then the last token you can find in the center, the large flat pyramid. For this final level, the high score you need to achieve is 2,820,000. Again, refer to my tricks and tips on how to obtain this one. There is a lot of time to obtain it, and we can shoot Mecha Brutes to keep our multiplier rolling. Once you've taken out the final spider boss and completed the level, you will get the champion achievement for 50 gamer score for completing the main campaign. And if you've completed all of the challenges, you'll get the completionist achievement for 100 gamer score. Once you've done that, you will need to play the Out for Blood campaign, which is the exact same levels, but with more enemies that deal more damage. Not a challenge for us when we have the Invincibility active. We will need to complete all of these challenges for the Out for Blood campaign too, but there are only three challenges for each level. You want to split the challenges into two runs. First, complete the level as quickly as you can, so don't perform tricks, just kill enemies. And then the second run, achieve the high score and you should be able to finish both of those runs in a single combo. I won't be showing all of these runs as my tricks and tips at the start of the video will help you achieve these no problem. The score I achieved in the main campaign for each level was higher than the new high score presented in the Out for Blood campaign. So with extra enemies, you'll get these no problem. I want to shout out to Roll7 for creating a fantastic game and thanks to all of my subscribers and you guys for watching. I want to wish you all a happy Christmas and a happy new year. I know we didn't reach our 2000 sub goal by the end of this year, but I'm sure we'll smash it in the next one. Thanks guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.